Hello folks, today is the 12th of April 2010, I haven't done a video for maybe three weeks, I haven't traded much during this time, although I want to show you some of my trades that I took, and maybe some of the trades that uh, I could have taken but didn't take for one reason or another, and uh, maybe you could have used these opportunities yourself, so I'm gonna just tell you about the previous week that we have just had um, so if you look at euro usd here we have one hour chart and if you look at this technical pattern that we have uh, so you could have taken this technical break such a nice rally up then a reversal two support points and then break out down on Monday. So you could have got uh, some 50 pips, yeah, if you had taken your take profit at break even number here, right here. All right, so this was just technical trade, but rather nice to support points and just nice break, break down before yet you could see some. Uh, range narrowing which means that a breakout is coming and of course you could have placed your stop somewhere here ah, so quite a good risk reward ratio okay let's look at other trade that you could have taken uh, news trading uh, in Australian dollar if you remember I had on the, we had on the 6th uh, news interest rate decision and the we had a re, uh, you could have had a really nice trade I was sleeping at that time so I didn't trade but you could see this is pre news time a few hours it formed a nice uh, uh, retracement and we could have placed our stop above this retracement and when news came out you see the price collapsed so this is 200 uh, pips profit uh, potential yeah so don't forget news creates some nice volatility and if you're able to to protect yourself placing your uh, limit orders wisely and your stop loss losses and take profits so you can have huge profits okay now the other trades that I really took uh, was on Friday GPPUSD okay let me open this so you see this was a technical trade and we had the pair was in a range in a range uh, which means it, it's going to break out and it formed this really nice setup it hit the 153 level retraced and then breakout and when the news came which was of medium importance the, the pair was close to even number and I took it at my take profit at 1.5390 so I got 80 pips on this yeah just one position uh, I was waiting for news from Canadian dollar uh, and I got very nice profit in that and I uh, didn't close one position yet I had two in Euro Canadian dollar and GPP Canadian dollar and GPP Canadian dollar only one yeah let's look at Euro Canadian this is 15 minute chart so you need a nice channel this is the upper part this is the lower part of course you could have placed it just a little bit lower but I did my sell here my buy here the first position uh, at break even take profit and I had 60 pips and the second I left to run because if you look at 4 hour chart look how much over sold the PIS so some pretty important news coming so I'm moving my stop losses according to 4 hour chart so very nice profit on the second position as of now 
we'll see what happens later in the day you see some crazy crazy stuff happening at the opening most probably this is uh, after market close activities done by some manipulating banks yeah euro usd let's say what a move almost 200 pips after the open so and there is a gap so that much for today i hope to do a video tomorrow oh yeah we have some news coming from japan and i have a very small position uh, it's not open yet so with this level 143 a little bit lower than that if the news from japan is able to push the price below this level i am going short okay so i expect uh, the pair to go down if it doesn't i will remove my order okay and we'll see what happens with other pairs um gpp usd it might reverse but i will wait for the morning 53 level is important yeah and of course data from canada so look at canadian dollar pairs uh they they might cause some volatility in the market uh, on monday all right at the moment i'm working on um, this is an ebook which i'm going to publish and uh, if you will be willing you will be able to buy uh, so i don't know the price here haven't decided on this it will be about techno fundamental trading and i will include all the possible my experience in fundamental news trading as well as uh, technical trading after that i'm gonna publish a uh, purely a book on purely technical trading yeah and then later about trend trading so three books uh, are, are going to be i'm going to release them and you will be able to purchase if you want of course so so much for today um see you tomorrow bye